Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new Tech Reviews and Gadgets episode where today we're reviewing an indoor portable electric heater. And you guys are currently watching Clearly. So we're actually reviewing a portable indoor electronic heater. And let me just tell you guys, this small heater is capable of doing so much. Like this heater can actually go up to the temperature of 95 degrees within three seconds of you actually turning this on. Um, there's also a fan on the back of this heater. So it's actually a heater slash fan. So that's amazing. Um, it also has a max temperature of 122 degrees Fahrenheit. So you can easily use this to heat up you know, a large area instantly with this portable heater. And this heater is only less than four pounds, so it's really, really portable. You can easily take it on the go. But before we actually get started with this tech reviews and gadgets episode, make sure you guys go down below and hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications on to get updates and a little time when we do upload. Have any questions or concerns about this product, make sure you guys go down below and leave a comment as I reply and read a certain comment I do receive. So if any inquiries whatsoever, please feel free to ask me in the comment section. If you guys do enjoy this video after watching it, make sure you guys go down below and leave a like as that just greatly informs me and keeps me updated if you guys are enjoying this tech series. And then lastly, if you guys actually want to check out this product, we'll get more information about this space hero, product information, and also the link to purchase this product will be down below in the description for you guys to check out alongside with product information and specifications and details if you want to take a look at that kind of information. But right now, what we're going to do is actually move over to the first look and unboxing portion of this video. But as you guys can see on the front of the box, um, there is a few specifications and details about this portable space heater. But as I spin it around, there is a few other specifications and details about it. But we're going to take a closer look at all these details with a secondary camera angle. You do get the company's name right here, which is Glad, I'm pretty sure. And this is a portable uh, cer ceramic heater. Um, there's also, you guys can see a list of specifications and details on the side right here. You guys can take a pause and read that if you're interested in those details. And we have a picture of the portable heater right here. But let's actually proceed with the unboxing part of the video. So basically, let me take out this heater. Um, it's going to be a little interesting. But you guys can see we do have a user manual on the top of the box. So you guys can see you guys can get a lot of useful information and details about how to set up this uh, portable heater. I just took out the space heater. We're going to actually put the box off to the floor in this video. But you guys can see the space heater does come in a nice plastic bag. This is how the space heater looks like. So you guys can see inside we have, we can see all the different coils that can actually produce all the heat and energy through this heater. You guys can see all the different coils. There's also a mesh protection to protect um, the actual internals of this uh, portable uh, space heater. On this side we have a dial to actually increase the heat or in decrease the heat of this portable space heater. And then on the back side, you guys can see we have some fans to actually allow so for some heat to escape this heater so that, you know, it can cool down and not overheat. So that's really good to see. And then on this side, you guys can see we have various different modes with this uh, space heater. So you guys can see we have a fan mode, we have a heat mode that's like one, um, what is it called, strengthness. And then we have another heat mode that's like the second strengthness. So if you really want intense heat, you would go and crank it all the way to that mode. But I'll show you guys all of these things in later on in the demonstration part of the video. And then on the bottom part of this space heater, you guys can see those this little like uh, tip thing. So basically what this is, is if the space heater, let's say for some reason, gets tipped over, when that part of that uh, space heater lifts off the ground, basically what it does is it stops this space heater from producing any heat and it basically shuts off the whole machine. So this will prevent files and stuff 
from happening. For instance, like, you know, a kid knocks over this hero not knowing that it's still plugged in and being in use. So that's really nice to see that they included some protection with this space heater because you don't want your house burning down, you know? So I do like that the company was thinking about that because, you know, a lot of accidents can happen. So it's good that they implemented that safety precaution. But all that's left to do now is actually proceed to the testing and demonstration part of the video where we actually test out this portable space heater. All right, so let's actually test out this portable space heater. So, you guys can see, we do get a cable in the back, and what we need to do is kind of unwrap this cable, which I'll show you guys. Unwrap it just like that, and now you take the other end of the cable and plug it into your power source. So let's actually proceed to test out this portable heater. Like I was saying earlier, this portable heater has three different modes. We have a fan mode, we have a heat mode number one, and we also have heat mode number two. So let's test out the fan mode uh, first, and then I'll show you guys the different heat modes. So let me increase the fan now, and let's turn it on. That is fan mode. I have it all the way up to the maximum uh, fan uh, potential. And I can definitely tell that this fan is working. I think the reason why they included a fan in this space heater is not because you want to, uh, for, the, for people to use it as a fan. I think they included it so that you can actually cool down this heater when you're done using it. So I think that's what the main purpose of this fan is. So let's actually test out heat mode number one now. Okay, it's starting to heat up. Oh wow, it's getting hot already. I can still touch the mesh though, but I don't know how long I can touch the mesh. I want to slowly increase the heat. All right, let me just max it all the way. Oh my goodness. It's definitely heating up everything. The fan in the back is working properly, so it's cooling it down as it's heating up, so that's good. Oh my goodness. Well, that's definitely hot, wow. The table's starting to get a little hot. Really nice. Yeah, it's getting hot. The build of this space heater is actually surprisingly very cold, so that's really good. So it's not gonna melt. That would be mad. Imagine having a plastic build that melts. That would be horrible. But this space heater is doing a good job of uh, actually uh, containing the heat inside the space heater and producing a lot of good energy right now. Wow. Okay, this one's really hot. I'm like. I can't go oh, wow, this one's really hot. I can't get too close to this one with this mode. Wow. I can feel the heat all the way back here. Dang. Alright, I have it at maximum bright um what is it called? Maximum heat. Wow. Okay, that is extremely hot. Wow, wow, wow. I wish I had like one of those heat guns, or not heat guns, but like one of those um, infrared temperature readers to show you guys how hot this thing is really getting, but I don't have one. Wow, that is extremely hot. But I'll definitely uh, invest in getting one of those so that in future videos when we test out things that do produce heat, I can show you guys how much heat it's producing. But wow, I'm really impressed with the uh, potential and overall capability of this portable space heater. Really hot. I can't I can't touch this. If I touch this, I'll burn myself. Yeah, if I definitely kept that on for a few seconds, that could definitely burn myself. Wow, that's pretty hot though. Alright. And then the good thing about this space heater is that safety mechanism. So for some reason, let's say uh, Timmy decides to walk over, trips over the cable and tips over the space heater. So if that happens you guys can see once it got tipped over, the space heater itself completely stops and shuts down and basically there's no fire hazard. This thing is still a little bit hot, so it, it will take a while to cool down, but at least now it's not producing more heat to heat up something or heat up your rug or something. So it's good that they did include this safety tip to prevent tip ovals with this machine being off. But right now what we're going to do is actually proceed to the final reflections and remarks and then end off this video. So 
So, one of my final opinions and remarks about this portable space hero from the company Glad. I'm very impressed with the overall output that this space hero was able to bring to the table. It got extremely hot. I do love that they have different settings and different modes you can switch this onto. So if you want extreme heat, you have that. If you want a little bit of heat, you have that. And I love that you are able to adjust the heat with the knob on this side and then change the different modes on this side. So it's really nicely designed. I also love the anti-tipping mechanism that stops the machine. If for some reason this thing was tipped over, it will stop the machine and not produce any more energy or heat. So that's really good to see that they put some protection measures into this portable space heater. But overall, this space heater did a fantastic job of heating up the area and did a fantastic job and we just did that simple test. But right now, we are gonna end off the video right here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this tech reviews and gadgets episode and if you guys did, make sure you guys go down below and hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications on to get updates and alerts when we do upload. Have any questions or concerns about this portable space heater, make sure you guys go down below and leave a comment as I reply and read your civil comment I do receive. So if you have any inquiries whatsoever, please feel free to ask me in the comment section. If you guys did enjoy this video after watching it, I would greatly appreciate it if you guys went down below and left a like as it just greatly informs me and keeps me updated if you guys are enjoying this tech series. Our business inquiries email is careerelitet at You guys can shoot me a message if you want to potentially work with me. Or if you guys need any photo assistance with this product, you guys can do so by reaching me through that business inquiries email. And then lastly, if you guys actually want to check out this product or get more information about this portable space heater, Product information and also the link to check out this product will be down below in the description for you guys to check out alongside with product information and also the link to make a purchase if you guys actually want to purchase this space here. But like I was saying earlier, this is going to conclude our video for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this tech reviews and gadgets episode. I know I did making it and I'll see you guys all on the next episode. Clearly signing out. Thank you guys all for watching and have a good rest of your day.